We've got some cheap auger bits to try out here. I've got a 100 mil, got an extension there, a 150, and the beast, 300 mil. That's one foot diameter. Can any cordless tool drive that thing? I'm gonna go have some fun today. Okay, so what do you reckon? Do you think this 300 millimeter bit, one foot in diameter, do you think this can be driven by the Makita 40 volt hammer drill, the HP001G? What do you reckon? It's um, quite substantial compared to the size of that poor little drill. I'm gonna make it semi easy and start up on the top here with some loose sort of soil because I want to plant something just over here get rid of that ugly old shower base and um, yeah, I'm going to dig a hole there to plant a lime tree and yeah can this do that for me so here is my lime tree that's going to be going in and a little white pebble down there that is the center of my hole and this is what I'm going to try and drill it with should be interesting <laughs> I was not expecting that to work. Holy moly. Alright, so we'll have a look at this in one take here. Look at that man. That was awesome. Not quite deep enough yet, but yeah, look at that. It's even basically the right diameter. <laughs> oh wow, awesome. So where I've drilled to there was basically loose soil anyway. I've now hit the, the real surface, the surface that's been there for donkey's years. Let's see what happens now. Fortunately, I'm hitting something pretty solid down there, but I think I've dug deep enough anyway. Right, I have removed the rock that it was catching on, about the size of your fist. So will it now go any deeper? deeper than that. I can't believe that has done the job. Boy, I'm happy with that. That is plenty deep enough for what I want. Unbelievable. Well, I can't believe how well that drill just did. Sorry, the lighting's a little bit dark here. Sort of half in the sun, half in the shade, not showing up too good. But yeah, that drill smashed that. If you're interested in buying one of those drills, I'll put a link down in the description. Um, yeah, the HP001G or the GPH01. A mean little drill. I was trying to do it as slowly as possible on gear one with the variable speed trigger, but it's quite hard with something that big. It's hard to keep it, keep your finger in the right place. It's not as easy as using a small little drill, but but wow, I just can't believe that had the torque to to do what it just did. I'm well impressed. Here I was thinking I was about to have to get out the 40 volt auger, and not even thinking that that might do it. But wow great little drill. <laughs> so this 100 millimeter diameter or four inch diameter auger bit should be a piece of cake. It is 750 long or about two and a half foot. So let's give that a whirl.
impressed with how good this little drill is. Super impressed actually. It's a great little drill. And I wish I'd got some augers for it a long time ago. Because it just smashes it. Look at that. That was going flat out on gear one. Try and control it a bit better. Won't be long till we don't need petrol post hole borers, that's for sure. This drill is awesome. So basically this video has just turned into a little um, showcase of how good the HP001G or the GPH01, if you're in the States, how good that drill is. It has quite a bit of torque and yeah. Does pretty well with earth augers. Surprised me a lot. Now you don't need to tell me that this drill wasn't designed for using big auger bits in it like that. I do realize that and I wouldn't encourage anybody to actually do this with their drill because yeah it might cark it. If you try this after watching this video don't come crying to me if you burn out your drill. Thanks for watching everybody that was just a little Easter bonus video I guess you could call it and speaking of Easter bonuses um, recently I reached out, that's, uh, that's what people say these days, I asked a question to um, Stealth Mounts, which you might have heard of, they make um, things for holding your batteries and your tools and stuff, and I said, do you make the 40 volt Makita ones yet? And I got a reply saying yes, and a week later I also got all of that. So cheers dude for sending me all of these, I have some battery holders here tool holders, um, these cleat things which we'll look at at some point, um, some tool battery holder, dealy watsits, um, those ones which you can clip anything onto really, hang a drill on them, um, all sorts of stuff and I'm not going to need all of this because I'd have to buy another $3,000 worth of Makita 40 volt batteries just to fill up all the battery ones so I'm going to give some of those away over on Patreon shortly so take a look down in the description if you're interested in that. And if you saw my video the other week on the Earth Auger, I um, borrowed that one from Cam, if you do recall. Well, yeah, I had to do it. I went out and got one, so you might see a few more videos on that soon. That's why I bought all the augers that you will have seen in this video. They're really for that one, and it was going to be included in this one, but then this little HP001G, the hammer drill, did so well, I decided to just leave that in the video, and we'll save that one for another time. And as well as 40 volt Makita stuff, I've got a couple of 18 volt videos coming up and we've got a couple of comparison videos coming up, which should be interesting. And yeah, so thanks for watching and I'll see you on another one real soon. Have a good Easter. See you guys later. These ones here are designed for pack out cases, can just slot straight into them. So that's cool. You can hang your pack out on the wall and that sort of stuff. Interesting. Or you can get them with cleats if you haven't got pack out ones to turn anything into a pack out style locking system. Pretty cool.